Acute GIT bleeding can present as hematemesis. Hematemesis is the vomiting of blood or altered blood, which looks like cough grounds, and this indicates bleeding proximal to the ligament of treads. It can also present as melina. Melina is the passage of black altered blood per rectum, usually indicating bleeding proximal to the ligament of treads, but may be as distal as ascending colon. GI bleeding can present as hematochesia. Hematochesia refers to bright red or maroon rectal bleeding, usually implying bleeding beyond the ligament of trace, all due to rapid upper gastrointestinal bleeding of more than a thousand milliliters. These patients can also have symptoms of blood loose, such as lightheadedness, and also positive fecal blood tests. The causes of gastrointestinal bleeding can be classified into general causes, and this refers to bleeding disorders and local causes, which we shall look at shortly. The local causes of upper gastrointestinal hemorrhage. These causes include peptic isolation, which accounts for 50 to 75 percent, gastric erosions known as hemorrhagic gastritis, esophageal viruses accounts for 4 percent. Malor waste tears or syndrome in alcoholic patients, cancer of the stomach, and others include the leiomyoma in female and arteriovenous malformations. The local causes of lower gastrointestinal hemorrhage include a diverticular disease, which accounts for 50% of the cases, hemorrhoids, colorectal carcinoma, polyps, and colitis such as ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease. Anophysis also account for a small percentage of these lower gastrointestinal hemorrhage. Shocking GID bleeding starts from covert shock, then proceeds to a compensated shock, decompensated shock, which is either early decompensation or very severe decompensation, then if not managed, it proceeds to unresponsive shock, which therefore leads to irreversible shock, that causes death in these patients. On your history and physical examination, on the upper gastrointestinal bleeding, the patient may report of hematemesis, melena, parectal bleeding with severe bleeding, shock, and history of peptic ulceration disease, history of non steroidal anti inflammatory use, and history of Malorway syndrome. You also ask about the history of alcoholic use. Signs of portal hypertension in case of liver cirrhosis will be present. And in lower gastrointestinal bleeding, there will be torrential rectal bleeding known as hematochesia and shock. What are the investigations done in these patients? Any patient with gastrointestinal bleeding, you have to conduct a baseline investigation including hemoglobin levels, hematocrit levels, grouping of blood and cross-matching, and coagulation studies to detect any coagulation disorders. Endoscopy can also be done including OGD that is esophageal gastroduodenoscopy, proctoscopy, sigmoidoscopy and colonoscopy. Barium contrast studies for example barium meal and barium enema can be used in case of double contrast studies. What is the treatment of gastrointestinal bleeding? Treatment can be divided into three, medical management, non-operative hemostasis, also known as hemostatic interventions, and surgical interventions. The medical management entails research station whereby you have to check the patient's airway, breathing, and circulation, and in case of cardiac arrest and management of shock. In your management of hemorrhagic shock, you have to determine the shock position of the patient. Oxygen can also be administered. Grouping and cross-matching of blood in case the patients may require blood transfusion. Intravenous line and large bocanulus. And blood replacement products such as plasma and packed red blood cells. Then you have to monitor the shock in these patients whereby you conduct clinical monitoring, urinary output, nasogastric tube or rectal tube monitoring, blood gas analysis, and central venous pressure line to monitor the central venous pressure in case of hypotension. And if bleeding fails to stop, 
Then you go for non-operative interventions using an endoscopic or surgical intervention to treat the cause of this bleeding.